ready for the truck. I couldn't wait yesterday. The paint wasn't dry. It was just getting dry and I installed, I'll show you. My latch, she ain't going nowhere. So that is together and I couldn't help myself. I was, I installed one of the toolboxes which I should really have waited to do that when I was on the truck. But I have the other one to put in yet. All right. So I'm going to lift this up, put it on the chassis, and then wire it in before I put the deck down. So I'm not working underneath, I can work from over top. Get the clearance lights in, get the tail lights in, and then put the deck on. Always a snag. There's always a snag. So this truck has a lower measurement on the chassis than the old B truck. And this old B truck, I built this deck. Well, I actually replicated this as to what my old one is to allow a lower profile. So it sits on the chassis, so it's not as tall. So when I'm working on this truck reaching onto the truck with the arm, you know, the higher it is, the harder it is to work the deck. So I thought, whoa, why don't I replicate this deck onto this lower chassis truck and have a lower height deck? And it'll be that much easier to reach onto the truck deck. The problem is, now that I've done that, with my easy loader, I have my mounting built, which is fine, except this goddamn fuel tank's in the way. And my pole that drops down into here hits the fuel tank because I have this stupid jut that comes up. So I had the choice to, two choices. Three choices. Take that tank, either drop it down or move it back or leave it alone. I didn't want to drop it down because, you know, clearance issues and putting holes in the fuel tank. And I don't want to move the tank because this tank is nursed by the from the back tank on the progressive fuel pump and it is the pump fuel pumps in here that supplies the truck all the electronics everything's in here i don't want to fuck around with that so the tank is staying which means then i have to either modify my deck my mounting here or raise up the deck so that's what i've done i've added an inch and a half space in here with some two by sixes just to lift the deck up a little bit. And actually it helps me with my clearance issue with my tires, because this, uh, this cross member here should have been built over here. This is, if, you know, I could very easily modify this. 
to fix this problem. Lifting it up an inch and a half completely solves the issue of clearance between the tire and the deck. Lifting it up also helps solve the issue with this fuel tank. I might have to add another inch a plate on top of this uh, the bracket, the mount, and it, then it completely clears that fuel tank. So I think I have it figured out, except it kind of defeats the purpose of building this damn flat deck the way it is. But I'm comparing the two, even with this up an inch and a half, the two decks, like this one is still riding three inches lower than my old truck. And my old truck was an improvement over my old, old truck. So three inches lower is still going to be an improvement over my old beat truck, even with that inch and a half space on top of the chassis, between the chassis and the deck. Damnations, anyway, it kind of defeats the purpose of building my deck in this way. You know, if I was going to run a channel underneath that anyways, I would have built this just a little bit differently. And I could have used different materials to build it if I would have, if I would have had that. But, you yeah, son of a bitch, anyways. Well, that's just the way she goes, you know, as you're designing things and building things on the go to customize for a very specific purpose. There's always bullshit issues that arise that you have to deal with. I'm considering, instead of running a steel channel under here, that's probably what I'll do. Why not put a treated 2x4 all the way down the length? I wonder if that would work. Probably be no difference. So I might actually do that. Unless someone here says, don't do that. Yeah, so I think I have that figured. Add that inch and a half underneath. Gives me, and I build this up maybe another inch. I'll put a plate on top, but nothing wrong with that. Easy fix. Allow me lots of space underneath for that, uh, for the pole that, there's a pole that drops down, slides down into here. And it, there's a clamp that goes onto it, another pole that then adjusts, then attaches to the cross member pieces here to help manage the torque back and forth this way. So by lifting it up, I also allow myself more space underneath to allow that clamp to work as it's designed. It's too bad that they had this jut up on the fuel tank here. This, this piece here that's screwing things up, they could have just made that flat. They need this dead air space up here for some reason. So I think I'll call my brothers in here and help me brainstorm to see if this is the most logical fix. Just this little adjustment. I know one brother will tell me to drop the tank or move the tank back because he loves doing stuff like that. But I don't want to do that because then I'm screwing around with electronics and just changing things. And I don't want to do that. And the other brother will likely tell me to leave my original design and just build this plate up higher. So build this up three inches. And I could do that too. It'd be very easy to do that. And then just run my pole on the top of the deck. And that maintains my low profile because the deck would be down to about here then. So much, that much easier to get on and off of the deck. And then I just have to modify this cross member. But I think I'm leaning towards leaving like this, lifting it up by inch and a half here with a piece of steel or two by four and maybe slightly modifying this to allow my proper clearance and just get on with things. Because at the end of the day, it's still, let's do the measurement here. This truck here measures, this 
measures 42. Yeah, about 42, and this truck measures 39. So three inches. Even with this spacer in here. My step works. So that design worked. Details, details, details.